to all my watchers, which are just none of you. Uh, we are watching today me driving your truck simulator too. It is nearly 11 o'clock p.m. So my local time. So I'm not going to do much. Um, I got to quickly go back to my controls because I'm hopping into a scan. No, you know what? Forget it. I'll drive the Scania that way. I'm going to go to my company manager. I'm going to pick a truck. I haven't driven one of my Scanias in a while, so I want to do that because I have a reason. I have a reason. And all of a sudden, my Scania is not available. Let me go see where it is. Ah, my Scania is being used by somebody else. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, I will go buy a new one. Now, there's a reason why I want the Scania. And... Uh, we'll look at that in a second. I'm going to go with... Uh, top line, because I'm going to be hauling... I like to basically haul um, vans. Uh, so I tend to go with that. And I'm going to go with a lighter load so I can get a bigger gas tank in there. I should not No, I'm not. Because, again, when I do this, I tend to use the uh, shorter routes. And I'm going to go with the 730 engine because I know if I don't, people are going to complain and whine. As for the interior, I'm going to stick with the stock because that's about the best that you can get right now. I'll do the rest of this when I get to um, the depot. Not the depot, but the um, uh, repair shop. Alright, so we'll go back to here. Go back one more. Go to my truck manager. Da, fuel. I've got way too many trucks. Let's uh, drive this. Where should I pull from? Edinburgh? Ah, oh, my Volvo's up there. So once I have loaded into here, I'm going to drive over to the repair facility. And I'm going to paint my truck. Now there's a reason why I want to paint my truck. I, uh... Downloaded a mod. Oh wait, I forgot that I'm in this weird country where they drive on the opposite side of the road. Which means to make a right hand turn here. So, oh, that was way too close.
the correct what? No, in Canada we drive on the right side of the road, which is why it's the right side. <laughs> I've gone and missed my turn again. Now where I want to be. You know, it might help if Alan went and activated the mod. <laughs> well, yeah. So hopefully it'll be there now. There you go. <laughs> I know. And since uh, it's so rusty, and it's probably going to fall apart, I shouldn't have paid. F I shouldn't. I should not have put the uh, um, expensive engine in there. So I'm going to drop it down to five. I'm going to drop it down to 560, and I'm going to keep everything else as it is right now. But man, that looks like a <laughs> or caravans, as they're called some places. Yeah, that's what I drive. Is I take the box trailers. So we are driving what looks like a standard Scania. 
until you look outside. And then it's a beat up rusty old Scania. Other people like to drive rusty Reynolds to make fun of them. I like to drive rusty Scanias. Yes, that was a completely illegal move. I wasn't paying attention. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any here. Let me go into the... Uh, oh, that's such a... <laughs> I'm being told that that is how all Scania should be. Um, let's see here. I'm up in Edinburgh, Scotland. I really don't want to go north. I don't want to go that far, so I'll go north. We'll take a quick trip with this rusty old Scania. <laughs> what am I trying to do? All oh, right, yes. There we go. Oops, I just banged up my uh, rusty Scania. I'm so heartbroken about it. Oh, there comes a big old Kenworth. Just about took me out. So this ain't anything other than just a rusty old Scania that I'm driving, so there's nothing special, there's no mods to it other than the paint job. And uh, I'm doing a very short run from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. And I know right now, any trucker who ever watches this is going to yell at me, Oh, you're doing that wrong! Don't pull into the trailer that way! you got to pull in straight! Well, this is a game. As much as I like to emulate real life in it, they just don't give you enough room here. If I tried to go in straight completely, it would be a pain in the ass to get out. Let's do a pre-trip. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's take a quick look. A nice new truck, or a nice new trailer. I definitely need the beacon on if I'm driving this hunk of trap truck being hauled by the rustiest the rustiest Scania ever
What's a bad one? I'm driving a Scania with rust. Do I need to worry about the paint job? I don't think so. Why am I talking with sort of a suedo Italian accent? Alright, so we are just driving along here in our beat up rusty Scania. It's having a hell of a time getting up to speed. It looks nice on the interior. I wish there was a way. Maybe I should just try to find a really crappy interior for the Scania. That might work. Huh, that might work actually. Make the interior look as bad as the exterior. Maybe I'll come back with that in a couple days, see if I can find an interior that's ripped and torn and cracked. That would be really funny. And any modders who happen to catch this, do that. Mod the interior so... I don't know if anybody ever, if any of the modders will remember, but back in the late 70s, early 80s, trucks, pickup trucks in North America were, were made with um, a plastic and the dashboards when they were in the sun would often crack and peel apart if you could do that to the Scania interior that would be awesome or any interior of the truck I'll put it in there just for the fun of it during one of my shows there goes a Kenworth K100 Kenworth? International K100 sorry see I don't understand why International name their trucks with K's and then Kenworth's with T, is ow. You got the Kenwood T2000, the International K100. Yeah, there we are. Or I'm probably just misremembering because it is 11 p.m. here. We got 187 kilometers to go. 1% damage on my truck. If you see them here, there. 1% damage on this isn't going to be much notice. Um. Mad Squeak, what are the trucks uh, limited to, limited to, um, or governed to? What's the maximum they can go to over there in your part of the world? Is that mile is that miles or kilometers? So eighty kilometers. Right, ninety. Uh, I got stuck on this bridge a couple nights ago. I meant to turn into Aberdeen and I came all the way down and there's nowhere for hundreds of kilometers to turn around at and for some reason I get the feeling I was on the wrong side of the road too but I was in the multiplayer version so it didn't really matter because there's nobody on the I, I wasn't logged into the server so um yeah it would be interesting to see if um SCS can eventually get the paint jobs that you see onto other trucks like onto the AI trucks I know in I think it was American Long Haul they did that. But it'd be kind of funny to see other Scanias with the rusty paint job. That'd be quite funny. Um, there goes another beautiful Canworth. We have 145 kilometers to go. Uh, I should probably get over to the left lane. Go on, go. Or modded to look like it's cracking and rusting and old.
Nobody can hear you squeak, just me. Yeah, see, my team speak uh, comes through my wireless headphones, and the game comes through my desktop speakers. I'm not watching it. Hello to the second user. Go, go, rush to Scania. What was that? Alright. 112 kilometers to go. Let's take a look outside. Okay, the uh... <laughs> oh, that is some rusty truck there, I tell you. So my load is due Thursday at 037, and I'm going to be there at 1554. So at the next um, available place, I'll pull off and uh, do another look around the truck before we deliver, because we're going to be there way too early anyways. Suddenly I'm dropping down to about 85 kilometers. I guess cruise control doesn't know what it means to run. I had somebody ask me a couple days ago in a, in a message on YouTube, why don't I play music? I, do, I don't play music so I can monetize my videos. Um, if I didn't... Uh, if I played music, I couldn't monetize. If I couldn't monetize, then, um, yeah, I just, yeah. Maybe at some point I will play a bit of music for you guys. Oh boy. Looks like that truck got scared. Um, past the two fuelers. Probably not a great idea right now, but I was never close to crashing. Was that with the truck? I could. <laughs> no, nobody wants to hear me either. I still don't understand why people listen to my boring, monotonous, uh, monotone voice. I do have to say, I'm so glad I spent the 200 and some odd dollars, and there was $211 I paid for the G27. Before, if you turned, like I'll show you here. That was, uh, that was just one single push on the keyboard button. It threw my wheel all the way to the side. With the wheel, it's more accurate. Now I've damaged my trailer, and I've damaged myself. But, whatever. And I know Mad Screw's gonna laugh at that, so I'll wait for him to start laughing. I possibly should have waited for uh, the gas station up here to show you that. <laughs> like with a wheel. It 
with the, with the wheel, I'm barely touching it, and it's turning. You, <laughs> oh, look at this idiot in front of me trying to pass and uh, almost caused an accident. If you want to pass, learn how to pass. What was that squeaker? Yeah, I was, I was doing 105 and I only made 5% damage. I'm good. Oh crap. Oh crap. No, I know you're 5 seconds behind. So I'm going to pull over up the side here. I'm going to pull over up the side. Yeah, I'm going to pull over the side here, go out to the number two view, show you the beautiful skin, and then I'm going to go back inside and show you the difference between the wheel and the keyboard, and why it's worth buying the wheel, even if it's $200. Then again, there's other wheels that work as well, but they're just not as nice looking as the uh, G27. Although I wouldn't mind getting a Thrustmaster. If anybody wants to buy me a Thrustmaster steering wheel, that would be really, really cool. I want a thrust. I, I want a thrustmaster because they're just really nice and they're really well built. All right, so let's take a quick look outside the truck. Nice, clean-looking trailer, and then a uh, very nice-looking uh, Scania. That is a beautiful-looking Scania. I'm killing time again, guys, because I have. Uh, in the game I have what uh, it's, I'm supposed to be there at 037 and I'm gonna be there at half past three so um, now let's go back inside in the game in in with a with a steering wheel as I turn the steering wheel in real life the wheel in the game turns equally so it's more accurate more realistic whereas if I'm doing it with the uh, keyboard I just give one second hit and you'll see the difference. So let me go back outside here for a second. See what I mean? Like it. I have never noticed that the back wheel there turns. <laughs> that is kind of cool. So, yeah, I love the steering wheel because of that. Like if it's barely a touch, and it's all the way over. Whereas with the wheel, it's more, like I said, more accurate. Anyways. That's what I like about the steering wheel. Let's get driving. I want to see that wheel. I, I've never seen that actually operate. No wonder the Scania has turned so sharply. <laughs> I've never actually seen that happen. That is kind of cool. Oh, hi. Uh, let me back up a little bit for you. I've created a backup of traffic. <laughs> Are you laughing at the traffic? And this is how a pro deals with it. I really, I really created a big traffic jam. <laughs> I was like 25 cars. It is very funny to see that many cars. All right, so let's turn. Nobody coming from that way. Yes, there is. There's somebody coming, but he's turning. I forced my way out. When you're this big, they call you Mr. and they move out of the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, 30 miles is 50 kilometers an hour. 
Well, let's go, Mr. Rusty Scania. Let's get up there. Yeah, there's always somebody coming, I know. <laughs> there you go, BCP. Move it. I think the next segment that I'm going to do right after this one is atrocious driving, atrocious driving by Alan. How not to be a professional truck driver. Let's see how good or bad I can park today. Ooh, I just about uh, stalled the truck and spun out there. Oh, I'm streaming it. It'll be also uh, uploaded to YouTube. Damn, what did I just hit? Must have been with the truck. <laughs> 